Welcome to Syria. The first people to visit it. It's really amazing it's to see something like this in Syria. Can you smell the roses? We're having a bit of a nightmare yeah. today. They only work. <laughs> In a, so we've come all the way to Hammer. The locals of Hammer. Molly, you got fans. Saha, Saha. Cheers. Cheers. Good morning from the outskirts of Hammer, Syria. This morning we got up bright and early and took around a two hour drive from Aleppo, Syria and arrived in the village of Hamra in the middle of nowhere, about 60 kilometers from Hammer City and we are actually the first tourists to visit this city since the crisis. So it only recently opened at the beginning of 2023 and we are the first ones to come here to this 6th century palace, Aban Wardon. And it is absolutely spectacular to think we're the first people that have been here, foreign tourists, in around 10, 11, 12 years. Absolutely insane. And just look at this place behind me. Look at the greenery. I mean, look how lush and green Syria is. It was liberated, I would presume, around 2016, 2017. They're not too sure. Um, and they believe they were probably in this area under the rule, the influence of ISIS. And look at us now the first people to visit it. Of course, we're being followed around again by Rami and Mary, but hey. this isn't actually the first time just for us. This is the first time that you for have ever been well. yeah. or Correct. seen this place. That's right, yeah. To see this beautiful palace, even where done. Yeah. Which back to uh, sixth century. Yeah, and uh, look, still. Uh, it's really amazing beautiful. to see something like this in Syria. Even after the crisis, like I thought it, uh, could be uh, more destroyed or something. But right. It's, it's usual to see citadels, uh, churches, mosques, but it's really rare to see such palaces that go back to the sixth century. Apparently, this palace was actually built with rose water. So what that means is when it rains, it gives off a scent of roses. Now, it has actually been raining. And I'm trying to smell it. I can't yet. Maybe we'll smell it when we go inside. <laughs> I can just smell like cows and sheep. <laughs> and Wet <farms>. grass. <laughs> this is pretty insane to think that we are the first foreign people to see this palace in over a decade. And it's definitely survived the test of time. And the rain is actually coming. Molly. I'm s I don't smell anything. <laughs> I don't smell any roses. They lied to us. Can you smell the roses? Not yet, but I think it takes time until the water gets into the bricks and then you will have this smell. Because it's believed that the rose water is exactly in this, this kind of things. Really? Oh, what, in the... In the bricks. Oh. So they, the bricks need to get wet before you can Exactly, see and I think it needs like heavy rain. Heavy rain, come on, come this. on rain. But this is maybe the most significant thing about this palace, is the rose water. This rain is getting heavier and heavier, so I've got to use the GoPro, but we've just realized that there is a roof and some stairs that lead up to what was the second floor of the palace. And just look at these views. Next to it is the old cathedral. And they believe there has been some illegal excavations done by ISIS. Um, so the treasures that might have been here before have probably gone or have been removed from the country, which is a real shame. But like I said, the fact that we are the first people in over a decade, foreigners, to have been able to experience this palace it really is a privilege but the rain is getting heavier and heavier so we're going to jump back in the car and head on the road to hammer and welcome to hammer i think we have finally escaped the rain it really can't make its mind up it's raining it's sunny it's raining it's sunny but we have arrived and we are now looking at the most famous thing the most famous site of hammer which is the water wheels on the Arentus River. The water wheels actually date back to the 12th 
century and their job was to essentially spin the water. The water level is below the city. So they would have to spin the water to bring the level of the water up. Something like that. Anyway, these two don't actually work right now. Is that right? They only work in... We're having a bit of a nightmare yeah. today. They only work... <laughs> In a, so we've come all the way to Hammer to see, to see the, the famous site of Hammer and it's not even working. There doesn't seem to be too much going on in poor old Hammer apart from the 12th century water wheels but there is, this looks nice, there is a really nice restaurant on the river and if you know us or you know me I have a slight obsession with any sort of bar, restaurant, whatever you want to call it, hotel that is next to a body of water and it looks like it's gonna rain again so Hammer is the place of water wheels and restaurants <laughs> on the river. Taras, the oh, best restaurant nice. in all of Hammer. Do you think Taras stands for terrace? Because they have the terrace over the river. Your getting good. Your Syrian is getting incredibly good. I don't know if you can tell on the camera but it's so smoky. Most of the restaurants in Syria are like covered in smoke because of all the shisha or nargila that everybody smokes. But this is nice. This is good. I, I need a hot tea. Cheers. Cheers. This is needed but as you can see the sun has just come out. It's always the way, you know, like when we come inside the weather is perfect, when we go outside the weather is not. You can see the water wheels behind. This is a great view actually of the restaurant. You can the see terrace. The, terrace. the terrace, which obviously means terrace in... Go on Einstein. <laughs> Good tea. I don't what know. have they brought us? What is this? I, I don't think know. we ordered this. We didn't. Is we it did. a surprise? I think it's gift from, from the heaven. <laughs> the heaven of Hammer. I think so. See? I told you the people of Hammer are the best people. They are really hospitable. Look at the cheese here. I told you, Mary. Uh, the people yeah, Mary. of Hammer. Yeah. What were you saying earlier? <laughs> yeah, what was it you said earlier, Mary? Shukran. The people of Hama are Habibis. Habibis. Shukran. We didn't order it, but never mind. We have a giant cheese pide from the ball. Oh, look at that string. Oh my god, Ooh. what a cheese pull. <gasps> cheese pull from the people of Hama. Maybe my favourite people so far. What, because you get a cheese pide? Yeah. I don't think it's for free. <laughs> I just think it's a mistake, but it tastes good. Thank you so much. More food? More food, What yes. is it? What do we have now? So this is spice with cheese. Spicy? Yes. This is actually the invention of Hammer. A spicy <laughs> the cheese of Hammer. pide, which leaves you having to go to the bidet because it is very spicy. <laughs> and in the morning... <laughs> spicy pide. It's a spicy bidet from oh the pide. Let's tell if Rami is a real Syrian man. Can he take the spice? It's good? Mm. Spicy? No, not, not too much. <laughs> he sees a strong Syrian man. Oh, yes. Shukran, thank you very much. We've just been past the Knesset, which apparently originates here in Hama, right? There'll be an argument with the Lebanese people. There will be a big argument. Oh my, look at that. It's crispy. What is a knefe? On the what outside. Is what is it? Knefe is kind of semolina look. and cheese. And oh. they put it in the oven and they serve it hot. They throw some pistachio on it. Okay, so now you know what it is and you saw my cheese pole. And this is a dessert. Dessert. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, it's like super sweet and the cheese, look at this, it doesn't even taste like cheese, it's kind of like a porridgey texture, but it's so so good. I like Hammer, it has the water wheels, it has the restaurant on the river and it is the birthplace of Kenefe, my new favourite dessert. If you come to Syria, you need to try the Kenefe, but just outside of the restaurant you come and you find more of these incredible wheels and even an I love Hammer sign. And if you come to Hammer, Hammer will love you too. The locals of Hammer. Salam. Salam. These are the locals of Hama, the only city that wasn't actually affected by the crisis directly. So these are the strong individuals that managed to, to fend it off and keep Hama the way it is today. They're very friendly. You're all very friendly. Very nice. Hama, Hama is good. It's good. 
Molly, you got fans. Of course. Oh, Live a view, check fans. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody's so friendly, but they don't want a photo with Matt. So welcome to Crac de Chevalier. This beautiful city, 800 years old, and we are gonna visit now. Even in the rain? Even in the rain. We'll challenge the weather. <laughs> <laughs> it is pouring with rain. Who would have thought it? We have contended with all weathers here in Syria. We've had snow, we've had rain, we've had sunshine, but we are now 750 meters above sea level. Below is the Christian village, the Christian valley, and above, Crack de Chevalier. Who knew that Syria had such beautiful blooming castles? I'm getting inside. I am absolutely drenched. Let's make this quick. It's annoying because when you look out, the sun is actually over the fields, but we are right now engulfed in a huge, huge rain cloud. Let's go in and hide from the storm. I really did not expect to find something like this in the countryside of Syria. We're running because the rain has stopped. This place dates back to the Crusaders and honestly looks like something that you would find in medieval Britain, not 30 kilometers from the Mediterranean of Syria. But wow, as you get up, these views, unbelievable. We're greeted by a rainbow in the distance. I think things are looking up. On one side, we have a valley that is absolutely covered in dark black clouds. On the other side, we have this beautiful, sunny and green mountains and hills. And, uh, the size of this castle. We're just standing on the top of this castle. I, I reckon I'm the queen of the castle. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me because it is extremely windy, but we've made it to the top of the castle up the commander tower as commander Matt. I command the rain to stop, but just have a look at these views. This is how beautiful Syria is. 800 years of medieval history. We're going to take it in all to ourselves because Rami seems to know every security guard and we get access to absolutely everything, even when it's closed. The rain has finally stopped and we've driven up to a viewpoint of the castle. And I think if you were to design like a perfect castle, it would look like this. Like, look at how well preserved this is. I can't believe we're the only ones here. We are now as Syrian as it gets. It's official. It's not doing its job properly because of the wind, but doesn't it look cool in front of the castle? Yeah. Welcome to two, Syria. Two very Welcome lovely ladies holding it. Habibtis. <laughs> Habibati. <laughs> Welcome to Syria. And just like that, we say goodbye to the castle. Uh, oh, puppies. Yeah. So Salam. Cute. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this is Shukran. Thank, Thank you, you, Mary. Saha. 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 Cheers. Cheers. We have made it to, what's this place called? I keep forgetting. Awesome. Hosn means the fortress. Hosn, the fortress restaurant. Unfortunately, <laughs> we are completely <laughs> engulfed yeah. in the clouds, but the most unique thing is they do an Arados beer, which is the beer from Tartus, the coast nearby. So this is our first time. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. My Try favorite. It. Arados. Arados. Let's see, we need a rating. I think it's better no. than, than... Alfamia. Alfa Alfamia, I'm sorry, but... Arados is number one, the view is not right now. <laughs> so this restaurant is called Beber's Restaurant and it used to be one of the best restaurants surrounding the citadel. Uh, so back then before the war, they used to have thousands of tourists inside that citadel. And you would see all the restaurants was full. So this was one of the best. He serves very good meal. Chicken is very uh, famous here. And since the crisis, it got destroyed and he's having to rebuild it slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, the militants attacked this place. They stole everything. So the owner of this place had to really build everything from scratch.
Good morning from the quaint little village of Mishtaya, Syria. What an inspirational man he was to be rebuilding his restaurant after everything he has gone through. I really think he shows the resilience of the Syrian people. But after our beer, the heavens opened again. The weather is just majnun. It is crazy. It keeps changing every five minutes. So we came down the valley and checked into the villa. Rosa Hotel in the quaint little village of Mishtaya and we are just underneath from our balcony we have views of the Crusader castle but I think everything that I had predetermined in my mind about Syria it is the complete opposite to what you expect the nicest people the most resilient people huge Crusader castles quaint little villages and beers on balconies it really isn't what I put together when I was thinking of this country, but we did check into the Villa Rosa Hotel last night and we had some dinner in our village. Look, our little Christian village in the foothills of the Crusader Castle. Saha, cheers. cheers. I think cheers. this is well deserved after a long day exploring the entirety. Saha, We are enjoying a Iraq. Iraq to end the day in the tiny village of Mishtaya and we have food on the way. Imagine We've ordered <laughs> We've ordered way too much food. Rami keeps telling me <laughs> terrible jokes. Um <laughs> what, what is this called again? Kibbe. Kibbe. Hummus. Chips. We have burek, we have hummus, we have more coming. It's <laughs> it's amazing food. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> Look at all of this. Now I'm composed. Now stop laughing. This is ridiculous. Look at this mixed grill. And the chicken In the village, complete farm to table feast, but there's no way we're finishing it. It's got bars, it's got restaurants, and it has these lovely hotels. Within your tours around Syria, all your accommodations will be included. And again, I have to highly, highly recommend Marotta, Mary, and Rami. <laughs> Rami, every time I try and film, Rami makes me laugh. He just puts a smile upon your face. Them two are the best of the best of Syria, but we have so much more left to see and do in this country. We've had seven days exploring everything, all the different terrains of this beautiful country, but we have an extremely long travel day today. So we'll see you in the next ones from the ancient ruins of Syria. Who would have thought it? <laughs>